Today, I'm going to show you how to copy a page from one page set on TD Snap to another page set. Um, and a time that it might be helpful to do this is, um, for example, if you want to use this GLP motor plan page set that Avital made that has the topics page put into it, um, and you want to start using that with a student, but they have some personalized pages on their old version of TD Snap, um, and you want to make sure that you can transfer those personalized pages over. Um, so what we're going to do first is go to the page set that has that personalized page that we want to transfer over. So I'm going to use one from my original Motorplane 66. Um, and for example, a lot of kids might have their My Phrases page customized. I have mine customized with some, with some speech therapy related phrases. Um, so you're going to press that edit button again. Then you're going to go to page set. Sorry, you're going to go to page. And then you're going to click export page bundle. And um, you're probably going to want to do it to your own Toby Dynavox account, but there is also a way that you can share it with another Toby Dynavox account. Um, for example, if you want to send something from your device to the child's device. But for now, we're just going to put it into our Toby Dynavox account so that we can put it into a new page set. So we're going to click to, to my Toby Dynavox. Um, and this is where you could check any other things that you wanted to add. For now, I'm just going to have the My Phrases page. I'm also going to rename this page so that we can tell it apart from any other file that is named My Phrases. So I'm going to call this one My Phrases SLP1. And then I'm going to click Export. All right, and it's successfully saved. Okay. And so now we are going to go back to that page set um, that we want to transfer this personalized page into. So we're going to go back to the to the motor plan page set with the topics page. So you're going to go to page set and then go to go back to this GLP motor plan 66 page. Um, and then you're going to figure out where you want to put um, these my phrases in. So in this case, um, I'm going to add them right here where the my phrases page already is because I don't have anything in that section. So I can go ahead and just overwrite the page. But you could also put it into a new button. So you could put it here if you wanted to. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put it in the regular My Phrases page. Um, so you're going to go to page. And this time, you're going to click Import Page Set. And then you're going to click from My Toby Dynavox. And then you're going to go on here, and you're going to find the page the page that you want to add in. And so mine is this one, click next. And then it'll tell you that you have this page conflict if there's already something with that page name. And it's just asking you if it's okay for you to put this new page set on top of my old blank my phrases page. So I'm going to say that that's fine. So we're going to overwrite existing page. Then we're going to import it. And it says it successfully imported. And let's see if it worked. All right, and there it is. I help kids communicate. All right, and that is pretty much it.